Since I'm waiting on parts for my 300ZX build, I figured this would be a perfect time to go to a junkyard. And while it may look like I'm already in the junkyard, this is actually the parking lot. <laughs> kind of nerve wracking seeing my car next to all the clunkers, but let's go in and see what we got here. Dang, I think I just missed them. I think they're on lunch. 12 to 1. It's 12.50. Well, I guess we can explore the parking lot first. I just think it's crazy that these are not even within the yard. These are just chilling outside here in a parking lot. Damn, I doubt this yellow was factory. Although it looks like it was yellow and then resprayed yellow. I'm pretty eager to explore this yard. It's always the small town junkyards that have the coolest finds, I swear. It looks like these have been sitting here for quite some time already. That's disgusting. Typical Toyota taco, folded in half. Let's take a look at those frame rails. Oh, what frame rails. That's crazy. So bad. Tan interior. Right where that belongs. What is this thing? Steamroller? That's pretty cool. I've never seen something like this in a junkyard. All right, we gotta sit up there. Left hand drive, center steering wheel. How do you drive this thing? Old school E350. Someone took the rear half of this thing. Does not even look that rusty, surprisingly. Less rusty than the Tacoma, that's for sure. There's still a trailer hitch on this F-150. It looks like it's the Harley-Davidson edition, too. Yeah, check it out. That's crazy. Even that badge alone, I'm sure, is worth money. This thing looks complete. Oh, dude, and the visor? Stop. All right, why is this junked? Oh, it actually says, do not take parts off of. I just trust you not to take parts off of this thing. Unlock too, with the floor mats. Damn, seats too. This thing is pretty sick. Surprised it's in here. Even though I guess it's technically not since you can't take parts off of it. Weird. There's nothing really too crazy on this side. Although these are some interesting looking wheels. Actually, what is that? That thing looks old. Whoa, that's where the fuel goes? What is this thing? That's cool. A Fiat, I had no idea. This thing's sick, it's so tiny. Cool little door handle, it's like a Miata. It's just been eaten away. I'm surprised it doesn't look worse than it does, honestly. Just getting eaten away by the elements. But this is so cool. I like that a lot. Fuel fill up right on top of the quarter panel. I don't know if that's factory or not, but still pretty cool. Last time it was registered, July 95. That's when I was born. Wild. Rest in peace, dude. We've officially made it into the yard. A bunch of trucks. Ooh, actually, Fiero. Good old fiberglass car. These are sick. This is a GT model. That means it had the V6 in it. Old school Mercedes. Well, I guess it's not really old school, but an older one. Ooh, I'm seeing pop-ups. Camaro? Firebird? I'm gonna guess Firebird based on the logo. Oh, <laughs> you got me. Ow. Well, this thing is cool. I don't think those are the original wheels, but I don't even know what kind of car this is. If you know, please tell me, please inform me. Definitely something from the 80s, my guess. Maybe late 70s. For being in the Midwest, it is not too rusty. Full, oh, I was gonna say full quarter panels, but it's uh, bondoed. I can't believe I found a zebra in this field. Paint, wrap, wrap, red interior. Interesting. Quite the look. This purple looks awesome. Pop-up headlights on a Saturn. But look at this. That's awesome. Why didn't they make more cars with this plum purple? It's so good. These cars are plastic, right? Yeah. Plastic quarter panels, plastic body. If you didn't know, now you know. That's why Saturns never rust. Oh, here's a perfect example. That's the fender. This was supposed to be the domestic section. 
but there's just an eclipse at the very far corner. With the door open. Nasty. Another Camaro, another Camaro. These have pretty cool wings on them. Red seat, red, well, that side has a red door panel. Even the back seats, maybe custom? I don't know. I was told to look for the center console lid and the sun visors with these cars. This is a nice green too. And they're both gone. It has the center caps in there though. These came with drum brakes. Well, that one has disc. This one has drums. And the lip kit. That's pretty cool. Duh! Got these little sticky balls on me. I've never seen an HHR with the tail lights out. I don't know how I feel about it. It always sucks to see a failed restoration project. This one was big failed. They had something going for them. Rat rod style. And then they just went full blown project and then full blown part out. <laughs> Straight to junk. Unless that was cut off when it got here. I could also see that. But, damn. Rusty. Had some donks though. This is pretty neat. I like that. Cool little bash bar with the trailer hitch. They just chopped the plate. They welded the plate. Seat belts fastened? Question mark. Was that on plates back in the day? I don't know. It must have been a drifter though. It's got the folded plate. Oh, I swear, I see so many of these in the junkyards. These cars really don't look that bad. I'm surprised they get junk so often. Bronco? I love the old paint jobs on these cars. With the vinyl work. <laughs> Man, the underdash is nuts on these cars. Wait, how does that make sense? Is this not a Ford? I don't actually know. Unless this is an old Blazer. I don't know. I don't know American cars like that. Someone informed me. What is this? They had a rifle sticker. The VIN is here on the window. That's interesting. Not too bad looking of an E46. Oh, quarter panel's a bit wavy. Part out. Ooh, a Volvo. Let's see if it has the electronic power steering in it. A Sadie, he's had it. Another Fiero too. Someone tried to take the badge and just destroyed it. Oops. Um, power steering? Anyone? No. Traditional power steering. Dang it. This is just such an interesting sight to see. A wall of cars. Let's see if there's anything in here we could have actually used. Good old Civic just chilling here. Automatic. This is crazy. School bus? Let's take a look around. Oh, it's the one with the wheelchair attachment. All the buttons. And there's a lot of buttons for this thing. The key is still in it. No power. I feel like back when I was a kid, I always wanted to be the one to open and close the door. <laughs> Just a mound of old crushed cars and parts. BMW four minutes. It's crazy how they just stacked them here. Wow. You never really see that at junkyards. Dude, a Camry wagon? No way. I've never, actually, I don't think I've seen one of those in a junkyard before. I've seen them on the road, but also I've never seen them that high up. Wild. Should I go under here? Yeah, let's do it. E46 question mark? Oh, we're exploring now. We're in this. This ain't sketchy at all. Well, that was fun. Let's see if there's any more spots we can go in. Dang, they put that one on top? The big old boat? Those things are heavy. 
eight pillars are strong on this thing, that's for sure. What else we got? Solid junk over here. Let's see if there's anything cool on the inside. Outlander. Is this an escape? Straight up junk. Camry. Nothing. I really don't understand the purpose of stacking the cards like this. I feel like that would make it more of a hassle to crush them later and dispose of them. But I guess technically it does save space because they're on top of each other. Kind of like how apartments work versus housing. All right, well, let's keep walking around. Big Maxima Energy. I wonder if that's the car that T-boned me. <laughs> no, I think it was blue. Same generation though. This can't be a part out. Booby bouncer, what? <laughs> this thing is funny. Pink on black. No, this is definitely a part out. No, it's got a battery. This thing's legit. Damn, that quick disconnect. <laughs> Hidden Mustang. An old Sentra? With the keys? Oh, wait, this is an Altima, not a Sentra. I don't think these were the right keys. It's got an aftermarket stereo though. Still old school, but pretty neat. What is this? These nicotine patches? Huh. Interior is not bad. I keep having to take breaks filming because the camera is overheating. It's about 100 degrees today, and if I look like I'm out of breath or sweating, that's because I am. <laughs> I almost thought this thing was a Honda Fit because of the wing. I don't think I've ever seen this wing on one of these Chevy Sonics, I think? Oh, Aveo. And this does not look like a Cadillac. This looks like a Sentra. Two hidden gems in this corner. Mustang with a cool plate. Oh man, that's nifty. And a Hyundai Elantra. Smash the smithereens. And wow, they totaled the car for that. Just a bash bar. The frame rails are probably tweaked then. Oh, here we go. 240SX. Just kidding. Ford Probe. What the heck? Wow, this thing is complete, too. Just sitting in here. I'm shocked. It looks like it's just missing the wheels. Alright, what is that? What is that? 24 volts. No, just kidding. Valve. Double overhead cam. It's pretty crazy that this thing is complete, honestly. There's nothing missing. Door handles are pretty sick on these. Tan interior. All right, we've seen enough of this junk. It's too bad these were front wheel drive. They would have actually had potential against the 240SX. Rear quarter glass is what's up. Super cool. Surprisingly, these are really hard to find in yards. A Mazda Miata. And it's got a carbon fiber wrap on the hood. Oh, a roll bar thing. Is that stock? I don't think so. Manual. Transit's still there. Ooh. But I would definitely say this one was probably drifted at one point or owned by some younger person. Turbo question mark? Is that a 1320 plate? Yep. Someone took the manifold off. Wow, the pink is popping in this engine bay. Everything is pink, even the brake lines, even the hose clamps, even the cruise control. They took the time to take out this fuse box though. Wild. Poor car. <laughs> I'm not gay, I just love Miatas. Heartbreaker. I really like this teal blue color. Another Nissan, probably Altima or something. These come with KA24s, front wheel drive though. I don't think they work on a 240, but this car is in great shape. Honestly, I don't see any damage whatsoever. This thing is in, <laughs> dude, this looks like a granny car. Why is this in here? The only thing I would guess is the motor's blown, but even still, I doubt it. Locked? There we go. Dude, 80,000 miles? Why is this in here? Bogus. An old van. 
Toyota van. Oh man, they got the carpet done up. Harley Davidson stuff. Wood paneling. Oh, this thing is cool. This is sick. That's neat. It looks custom. I'm not familiar with this chassis, but this thing is pretty red. I definitely would drive one of these. This would be a great parts hauler. <laughs> the front end looks crazy. Rest in peace. I wonder why this thing got totaled in here. My guess is you have the engine blue or they couldn't find a new windshield for this. Rip. Montero Sport. This thing looks pretty straight too. These aren't too common to see on the roads anymore. An old Nissan Pathfinder. I love these classic looks. Man, we have so much more to explore. What an interesting hit. How would that even happen? <laughs> Vert. Subaru wagon. Rip. Volkswagen Beetle. What did that say? Herbie. <laughs> Dude, they got smushed. Someone probably hit them by the looks of it. You know it's bad when the roof folds. Not good. Oh, Celica too. Damn. Another Camaro just chilling. Side swipe or drift damage? Roadside assistance. I think he needed some assistance at one point. Looks like someone hit him by the looks of it. Dude, an element backpack? No way. This thing's gotta be like 20 years old at this point. These were so cool. Back in the day, everyone had an element backpack. You could strap your skateboard to the back of it too. So cool. Rip to the classic times. Another beetle. This is the other corner of the yard. Now we dive towards the center. This thing had new brake pads too. Nope. Ooh, a Subaru, is that a WRX? No, just an Impreza. Just rotting away, letting the ground eat it up. Not too bad. Usually these are a lot worse. Ow! That was a weed. Another Civic EK. Yo, no way! An Integra. Rusty. Ow, again? Stock suspension, has a privacy cover, black interior. Oh, it's got the wing, that means it's an LS model at least. What else we got on here? Still has the engine, stop. Why'd they take the hood off if all they were gonna take is the oil cap? Two plugs, so this is a 94, 95 model. This is a nice hood, it's a nice car. Why is this thing in here? Too bad this thing was auto, but it looked pretty clean in there. I don't know how long this oil cap has been off and exposed to the elements though. Judging by the distributor, I'd say quite some time. Can we even open this door? Someone took the seats, but they were mint. Even the center console looks mint, the armrest. This carpet also looks mint. Of course the ECU is gone. That's like the first to go on these cars. Oh, the door handle's missing on that side. I wanna see how many miles it had. 209? That thing was barely broken in. <sighs> that really sucks to see. Poor car. All right, well, I guess we'll keep walking on and exploring. Let's hit the center. Hyundai wagon, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that car before. Is this an SR Sentra? Look at that baby. With the distributor. Unfortunately those do not work on S chassis. Imagine if they did. So many more people would have an SR swap. RX-7 FD. Ah, oh, just kidding. Ford Taurus. You just got Ford Taurus. Another old truck. Bronco? Question mark? Still don't know. I like the two-tone though. Dark blue, silver. Tan interior, no, no, can't have that. This looks like it's been sitting outside all of its life. Oh, and it's a hatch. Manual too. Rip. I hate seeing straight cars with potential in the junkyard. No 
Buster. No miles. No door handle. Another Jeep. Nice teal. Yo, no way. 240? I knew I'd find something cool here. Engine? Question mark? Question mark? Yeah. I wonder if it's good. Who knows how long this thing has been sitting here. Dude, it didn't even look that rusty. Oh man, that sucks. Full AC too? Stop. Ooh, spark plug holes look pretty crusty. Front harness is uncut. That is very hard to come by these days. Hood, mint, no dents. Oh, the corners are folded up though. That's kind of unfortunate. Damn. Drift damage or side swiped? <laughs> I think we can all assume this car was drift damage. Stock suspension though, so I don't know. Could have been just a daily driver. How crusty is this back seat? Oh, it's a leather interior. This was an LE. A sunroof with all of the mechanisms. That's pretty rare. Manual with trans. How did I not even see that? Is this stuck? Oh, it's pretty crusty. Huh. I wonder what they'll charge for the KA with the trans. Sucks to see yet another one fall. This one was pretty crusty. Oh, dude, this quarter panel is up. Oh, I was going to say it's not bad, but we got some bubbling. Got some dents. These cars are paper thin. Did someone try and take this window? You need the seal with the window, otherwise it's junk. Radiator in there. Yo, someone just tossed the intake coupler in there. These are really hard to find uncracked. The rust is a little bit worse than I thought. Yeah, there's no floorboards here. And it's starting to separate the rear floorboards from the wheel well. That's not good. Full suspension, crusty rails. Man, there's nothing left of this thing. Yeah, uncut engine room harness. That's a find in itself. I always like showing the VIN on these cars because a lot of people ask me, hey, have you seen this car around? Well, it may be in the junkyard. Maybe I'll come back and grab that harness. Nothing looks cut, honestly. Thankfully, someone actually took the time to unplug it. Thank you, whoever that was. Rest in peace, young S13 hatch. May we meet again. The heck is this thing? Two-door Chrysler Sebring? I did not know that there was a two-door Chrysler Sebring option. Did you guys know that? I gotta see the front. Oh, it just looks like a regular Chrysler Sebring. Two-door though? Dude, another plum purple. Too bad it's on the junkyard special here. Hello, Mr. PT, right where you belong. Why did they have a shift knob on there? Purple. That's pretty neat. Does this thing have a battery in it? I hear stuff clicking. Nope, no battery. Oh, but there's a battery right here. G35 coupe. I always like the taillights that have the bevels in them. Blacked out. Tan. Auto. VQDE. Oh, check it out. We got some three-piece wheels. Some Serbs. Nah. Close, though. <laughs> Vision wheel. Oh, another G35. Auto. Black roof. Okay. Interesting mod. DE question mark? DE. This is a very confusing looking dartboard. Huh. Old Mercedes. 190E just rotten away. BMW Motorcycle Owners of America. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Too bad uh, it's in here. It looks pretty rust free. Blue interior. Okay, that goes pretty hard. This thing is nice for what it is. For being in a junkyard, this thing is nice. You can tell how long it's been in here based on this oil canister. Look at that. All right, another question of why was this car junked? Someone took off the badge. Del Sol with a Jesus fish. Oh, someone cut out the trunk pan. How rusty. 
always. Dude, it still has the seats. These seats are really nice, actually. Oh, they're trashed. And it's auto rip. This wall of cars is just crazy. I don't know if I've seen one of these Fiat's in the yard before. Looks pretty rust free. Someone took off a quarter. Are they just glued on? I don't see any spot welds. Wow, seam sealer only. That's pretty cool. That is very interesting. Yeah, see, look, someone actually took the time to drill this out. Fiat. Someone took the dash? This thing is pretty new. So is the floor mats, 500. Tiny little engine. Look at the size of the intake tube. Unless that's to a turbo? Are these boosted? I don't know. Ooh, an old Nissan hard body. Okay, yay. Single cam though. And carbureted. Oof. I've always wanted one of these. Maybe someday. Definitely not in the Midwest because they're going to be rotted. Another Subaru wagon. Legacy. Scion toaster. Next to another one. These things are such interesting cars. Dude really likes seeds. Oh, it has a strut bar. Stop. And here's the very last clunker of the day. My Z. <laughs> I asked them how much they wanted for the engine and trans out of that 240. They wanted 500 bucks. That's a little steep in my opinion, so definitely gonna pass on it. Maybe I'll call back in a few weeks and see if I'll take a low ball offer. Cause I know for a fact that KA is gonna be blown. Just looking at it, you can tell it's crusty on the inside. But the transmission has some potential, but it just did not shift nicely. That thing's been sitting there for years. But please don't forget to drop a like on the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. See you next time. Peace.